All right, this is a diagram showing the parts, or naming the parts of the uh, hackamore. And uh, I've been indoctrinated today on creating the hackamore or, or how the hackamore was uh, constructed and how it was all um, reined up and everything else. So I'm gonna get busy on the hackamore today. I found out uh, that the uh, reins of the uh, hackamore are called the Makati. And I even found out that the reins and the lead rope are made of uh, horsehair because it's uh, much more comfortable and also um, they can hold on to it better. I even found out how they were the, the reins were held in the hand of the cowboy. They could hold the uh, reins with two hands or they could uh, hold it with one hand. Okay, I'm going to I'm just trying to figure out the uh placement of the uh Hackamore. It had to be uh, placed in such a way that it didn't uh, sit on the. Uh, it had to sit on the bone of the uh, nose of the horse. If it ha was down too low, it would be on the gristle in the uh, nose, and would not work out well for the cowboy. Okay, I'm just uh, connecting this ball to the uh, hackamore. It's going to be a hard thing to connect, uh, construct this at this angle. certain that you're not seeing what I'm doing here. I'm going to have to put a piece of wire. I know I can't show you this because it's hard to see what exactly I'm doing. But I just put a piece of wire into the bottom of the uh, Hackamore going into the jaw of the, the horse because I've got to wrap that with the uh, rope and uh, It's going to be hard to do without having some kind of support there. Okay, Christmas. Talk about hard to do. I'll have to come back when I can show you what I'm doing. Because right now, I can't. Now this wraps around several times. 
and it's woven in and out of the opening at the bottom of the uh, hackamore. Actually, it's called the Bozel. Bozel? Yeah, Bozel. And uh, the reins come out of here, and the lead rope comes out of here, and it goes into his belt. That's if he gets bucked off, he can grab onto that rope in his belt and keep the horse from running away. I am telling you, this is the hardest thing I've ever done, is trying to get this all constructed here and have it look like it's supposed to. Now there's two ways to hold the reins. And he can hold it in one loop in his palm of his hand. That's a more experienced cowboy. Or he could, I'll show you a picture of a one hand way of holding it. And there was a control on the uh, the horse through the hand movements. There we go. I think I've got that. Now, some of this is going to be in the mane of the horse, too. So that's going to help. But... Uh, that's kind of the way it's going to go. And then we got the lead rope, which will come out from the front, and also there's a uh, a hanging uh, little doodad end of the uh, reins at the, uh, that comes out of here. I just haven't got that in there yet. And then there's the lead rope which comes out of the front and up to his belt. And it would loop under the belt. Whew. Man, talk about complicated. I haven't done the hangers on it yet. I still got to do those. Whew. I'm surprised I haven't destroyed the face of this horse yet. Okay, this is the hanger.
There's some detail I need to put in there. All right, this is gonna be the last thing I do today because this is taking me all friggin' afternoon just to get this figured out. I'm gonna paint it now to match the clay. This has been an experience. It had been a lot easier if it had been a bigger horse. I could have done this a lot easier. The size of the horse really determines the uh, difficulty, I think. And uh, this is quite difficult. I'll uh, have to start doing the hands, hopefully next time. No matter how difficult something is, you can't give up until you at least gave it your best try, and I think I did okay. It looks a lot better now that the, it matches the clay color. Oop. Oh, there goes my little hanging doodag. Doodad, which I'll have to probably make out of clay. Anyway, that's the Hackamore. I thought it was going to be a lot easier to do than it actually turned out to be. So, uh, and that just came apart again. So, that's the Hackamore. And I've got a lot of damage to repair that I've done to the horse uh, head as I worked on it, but I think it looks pretty good. And uh, the piece is starting to look good. It's starting to get close to being done. Not quite yet, but it's getting there. All right, everybody, have a great night, and uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.